This is one of Toronto's most delectable festivals. It's called Summerlicious. It's well underway. Joining us this morning, we've got Chef Dan Sanders with Glow Bistro. You Ooh. know what? I just told you, I've actually been to your Summerlicious a couple of summers ago. It was wonderful. You get a three course mm. meal for either lunch or dinner, and it's super affordable. It's a fantastic deal. Uh, you know, for summertime, people are on a budget. You know, they want to try a restaurant that they maybe haven't been to before. They yeah. get a great experience. And uh, everyone, it's just the best uh, situation for everybody. So. so this is an example of what you're serving up. So let's get started. The three-course right, so, meal includes? Uh, we're going to start off with a uh, Fogo Island cod. Uh, it's a fantastic product because the uh, we buy the fish directly from the fishermen. Mm. And, uh, you know, it just really helps them out, the community out and everything like that. And uh, it's, it's a great product as you're well. You're all about farm to table. Exactly. Local yeah, we like to support the local guys, the small guys, you know. And uh, great products as well. Uh, so we're just going to start off by making a, a breading station. So you just want to crack an egg. So right I noticed you have one brown and one white. Does that matter? Uh, no. You know, they're, uh, <laughs> we don't uh, judge eggs here. They're just fresh. Is they're what just they are. fresh. Because exactly. apparently now we're trying to get chicken coops in our backyard, right? <laughs> exactly. Okay. Exactly. So we're just going to whisk this up. up, and they're uh, nice heritage eggs. That's why they're all good. Oh, heritage close. eggs. Yeah. Look how yeah, bright they're happy and yellow. chickens. You know, so they're yeah, happy perfect. hands, and they're running around. Exactly. Eating the delicious feed. Okay, so then? All right, so then we're just going to take this uh, cod. We're just going to toss it in the flour. Okay, so you do the flour yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, just mix Why? it up in the flour there. And then we're just going to. Uh, flour, then yolk. Then yolk, exactly. And then? And then into the panko breadcrumbs. Can I ask why do you do the dry, then the wet, then the dry? Uh, so the flour helps the egg stick to the panko. So if you do it without, you're just not going to get like a, a nice kind of breading and crust. I am not wearing yeah. appropriate attire for the kitchen. <laughs> okay, so exactly. then? And then you just uh, throw into the oil here. Can I drop it in? Yeah, just gently, gently drop what it in What sort of there. oil, chef? Uh, oh, this hot. is a uh, canola oil. Okay. And uh, it's actually at a perfect frying temperature at 350 degrees. Oh, I'm sorry. They didn't catch so. that. Somebody's showing off with their kitchen gadget. Oh, uh, you know, you got the gadgets look at in this, the kitchen. Chef. Right, there we go. So this, look at you, you, you just, <laughs> sorry, one more time. Pew! We got, we got a laser. We got a laser in the kitchen. So what should it be at? Uh, so 350 degrees Fahrenheit just kind of gives it the uh, nice cooking time and temperature uh, just to give a nice crust on the outside. Of it. And then how long? And uh, you're just kind of looking for like a golden brown. It's going to take just about two, three minutes. A small oh. piece of fish, it won't take too long. That's it. And just, you can uh, also... Well, actually, you take a little bit less than that, actually. But like, You don't want to overcook it. because No, it'll... you definitely don't want to overcook it. And you could bake it too. You can exactly as well. If you're at home, you can just throw this in the oven and bake it, and it'll have a nice crust on it as well. Still, so you can hear that crackle. Yeah, and then over nice here, what do you have here. cooking, Chef? Uh, so this is for our main course that we have on our summerlicious menu. It's a uh, lamb that's braised in adobo sauce. So it's like a, a Mexican tomato chili. Uh, mm. Kind of sauce, you know, like, um, kind of like a Mexican barbecue sauce. Almost. So many layers and flavors. Now, with 30 seconds left, Chef, I see this. Is this dessert? Adam, are you hungry? Adam didn't have breakfast. Adam, would you rather fish? Or oh, would you rather the fish some, smells uh, amazing. I, you know what? I, I don't need. What, what, what is, is this? That? It looks like a, a sponge. It's a, uh, it's a pink peppercorn uh, shortcake with uh, strawberry preserve, and then we have strawberry gelato that we're going to finish this with. Is that up your alley yeah, at let's this try time? That. Yeah, what the heck? Okay, let's do that, <laughs> Chef. So it's actually on now until July 23rd. Have you ever done the summer list? Uh, I have, and it is awesome. So good, guys. Amazing. If you haven't, take advantage. Our city is just filled with so many beautiful restaurants, and this is an amazing way to sample and eat your way through. Breakfasttelevision.ca for more information to make your reservations because they go fast. Look, what are the are those? Uh, uh, this is a red vein sorrel, uh, mm -hmm. so it's got a nice little citrusy uh, taste to the herb. Beautiful. We eat with so. our eyes first, and you did a beautiful job with the presentation, Chef.